Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video of The Drive by Gigi, that's me. And today we're with my friend Michael and he's got his brand new BMW 330i in fantastic sapphire black. Is that right? Yeah, that's the one. Sa sapphire black. And he uses this as his daily drive to go to work and back. And his round trip is about 70 miles each day. And uh, so this is quite a good review for someone who's going to buy the car who's going to use it every day, like Michael, and uh, we're going to show you some of the features uh, with you today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video in 4K ultra high definition. Now this car's got the M Sport Pro Pack, which is an option uh, which costs around two and a half thousand pounds, uh, but it makes this car look completely different uh, to a bog standard three series. Um, some of the options in the Pro Pack are the laser lights, um, bigger wheels, 19 inch wheels, and the um, you get slightly different lights there. You've got the shadow line, I think it is, um, and you've got a couple of features inside. But for two and a half grand, it's well worth it because it's going to help you resell the car as well. This one's got 260 bhp, 400 newton meters of torque, um, and although it's got a 330, it's only a two litre engine, it's not a three litre. But you would never know it driving this car, honestly. It feels like a three litre. Um, it's got a glorious sound from inside the car and outside the car. Um, top speed. 155 miles per hour um, that's pretty standard for BMWs these days they tend to limit the top speed um, and 0 to 60 5.9 seconds so uh, pretty pretty quick um, not too heavy as well either it's only 1580 kilos um, it's a bit bit lighter I think than my my old 125d but you can see this fantastic sapphire black paintwork with this lovely little spoiler here, it really does set it off. And on this model, we've got the nice shadow line lights um, with LED lights in the back. So yeah, looks really good. Um, boot space on this car is 480 liters. Um, wheels are 19 inches with the M Sport brakes. And you can see, you can tell they're the M Sport brakes because they've got the blue calipers on the discs. They look really good. Right, okay, so front of the car, uh, again with the M Sport Pro Pack, you get the, the different grille. So this one's got the black uh, black look, which looks very stealthy. Um, and then on the lights, now these are the laser lights, and these are a, a 1,500 pound option, Michael? Yeah, 1,500 pound option. Uh, and it does create quite a different look. And inside, where the laser lights are, you've got a blue rim that goes around the outside, which really looks good in day and night. And the daytime running lights are slightly different as well when you have the extra pack on here. And it also has the black shadow line surround around the light. So combine it with the grill, the big wheels, uh, and the other features on the Pro Pack, it really does look mean. And um, I think we both agree it's worth the extra two and a half grand. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay. Yeah, so you see, you know, it grows open now, so it opens when it gets hot. And then when you're driving and it doesn't need to have the air blowing through it, then they close off. Oh. And it's also just part of it making it more efficient. Um, obviously, the fuel consumption for the aerodynamics. Um, so you'll see if I, on the other video, or I'll see if I switch them yeah. off now, you'll see they'll close up. Yeah, I never knew that. There we go, let's see if, let's see if they close up. That's so cool. As with modern engines, there really isn't a great deal to look at. Um, but you've got the 2 litre twin turbo power plant in here. 
don't know, Michael, you might know a bit more about engines than me, but... Yeah, it's, yeah, two leads and you can see there's the turbo down there. Ah. Huh. Oh, just down there, the little... Yeah, turbo's down there. down there. And normally they sort of hide that. I don't know why they hide it, but yeah, they hide it. But yeah, at least you can see a bit of it. Yeah, it's pretty compact. Technology has advanced a bit, and we were just comparing my old 125D to Michael's, and and the windscreen washer fluid actually comes out of the wiper blade uh, here, whereas on my one there it's underneath the bonnet and it fires up onto the windscreen. So yeah, that's quite cool. It actually comes out of the windscreen wipers. So when the wipers are moving, you get a better spread of the yeah. of the spray. That's quite a nice little touch. Oh, nearly. So this is the uh, the space you get in the back of a 330 or any BMW 3 Series. It's big. Actually, that's that's really quite a decent size in there. Definitely get a set of golf clubs in there, I would have said. And I would say probably two good sized suitcases, so yeah. If you go for the comfort pack, you get the automatic boot lid. Ah. Um, I didn't go for that and also the kick thing so you can if you've got stuff in your hand you just kick under the bumper and the boot will open. Ah. So I think that was an extra nine hundred and ninety or something, nine hundred wow. pounds and then you get but there's other things that are like the yep. seats you get the electric seats and all that which I didn't go for, it's just that a little bit too more. But yeah, if that's something you like, then yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just gonna show you the inside of Michael's car. Now he's got some nice little features in here which he's obviously paid extra for but he's gone for the red red leather. I can't I don't know the actual name of this. What's it called Michael? Can you remember? Uh, Takara or something like that. Takara red. Takara red. It's under the options list and it's a free option. Oh it's a free option. Um, and you can see in here you've got the inserted LED lights that come on um, in daytime and nighttime, they look really nice. And these um, these door pulls are typical BMW, love, nice and solid to feel. Um, you've got the aluminium foot pedals down here. they standard, I think they are, aren't they? They're, they're standard, they're, yeah. they're standard, and then you've got a selection of buttons here, your lights, fog lights, um, the dash how, how bright you want the dash and then you've got the dash here uh, fully digital dash on these there's no analog dials and then you've got this really nice cool steering wheel which is which bmws do well not as well as porsche but <laughs> for the price point it's probably the second best steering wheel on the market and then just looking at these these really nice seats um, you've got the leg extensions um, you've got the bolster I've got these on mine as well. These are the side bolster um, which hold you in place. That's really cool. And a lot of people wouldn't know, but I think you get those as standard these days. So that's a nice little touch. Yeah. And, and basically, when you push these, it squeezes your body here and these either inflate or deflate. But yeah, the seat design looks really cool. Michael's got the optional sunroof. Um, can you remember how much that was? 900. 900 quid. It's worth it if you if you can afford it go for it. it does give the extra light into the cabin um you got these oh, there we go there we go and you got the nice lights up here yeah they're very bright at night yeah. when you're on use them they're very bright yeah and then obviously the center console here um, which sort of joins onto the to the main dash here it looks really good much better than the older BMWs like mine and as we talked about earlier some of these buttons down here have got the lovely knurled look and feel very nicely weighted automatic box um, let me just get in yeah so you've got this fantastic center console that BMW do really well makes you feel like you are in a in a cockpit and then you've got this section here which you push opens up two good size cup holders automatic gearbox with all your different modes adaptive eco comfort and sport and then you got your other buttons there yeah you can do your traction or the stability control you can switch that on and off there it's normally standard it's on but you can, you can switch them off yeah if you want to be a bit more sporty and then you've got this massive iDrive knob here 
which still feels good today. And I think you can still type on it, can't yeah. you? Yeah, so you yes. can still. I never use that. Paula, my wife, she loves it. Drives me up the wall, but she loves doing it. Because <laughs> half the time it doesn't remember what you've put in. And then you've got your bog standard uh, buttons here for the operating of the system. Um, oh, just a little bit extra on if you oh, take yeah. the technology pack on the car, which I haven't gone for. If you take the technology pack in, in there, you can put your phone and it will have a wireless charging. Ah, do you... And it also boosts your wireless signal um, through the aerial ah. or your phone. Yeah. Do you regret not buying that? It was um, just a bit too much for me. I would have liked to have it because that all that comes with a lot of extra features like the heads up display and all that. But um, for what I wanted, I'm happy for what I've gone for. That would have just been a little bit too much for me. Obviously, you have to look at what your budget is. Yep. Come, come, Mike. Yeah. yeah. There's a few nice options like say, in the car you can go check your car status, statuses like tire pressures, and it shows you the recommended pressure at the temperature that you're currently on, and it shows you all the different higher temperatures and pressures yeah that's cool which is quite a nice feature to monitor engine oil service requirements tells you when your next services are due um, mileage or date well look at that there you go look there's a there's a little nice picture of michael's car there and it even yeah it changes it to what your car is color and wheels that's cool and then obviously also you've got under your driver information your journey data so it shows you <coughs> your miles and your miles per gallon son that you've done shows you what a speed demon mike it is <laughs> so right. that's my uh since i bought the car that's basically what i've done and if you look at it 39.7 miles per yeah, gallon 39 really yeah there we go he's not reset this he's this is from day one since him getting the car and i dare say he doesn't drive slowly all the time so 40 miles per gallon that's pretty good for a 330i just to put it into perspective my my old 125D, which is a 2014 model, that does um, that does just over 40, around 43, and that's a diesel. So I think you can tell that these engines are coming a long way. So there we go. That's the um, back of the car. Nice. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about the nice M Sport um, seat belts. There we go. So yeah, yeah, these these come with the Pro Pack. Is that right? Yes, with the Pro Pack. Yeah, so you got the nice extra new, the stitching, extra which is a nice little touch, actually. And then in here, this is pretty much bog standard BMW. No, it's nice and deep, though. So mm. get, it's much deeper than my one. And uh, your USB-C charging oh, port. Oh, USB-C, very good. And then you've got one in there, just a normal USB in there. there. So there we go, everybody. That is the inside of the 2021 BMW 330i. Um, we're going to head off, do a bit of driving and um, stay with us. There's going to be some exciting footage coming your way. Here we go. Well. Right, let's go and take this uh, beautiful car out on the road. And one thing I love about BMWs, and they're very similar to Porsches in this way, are that even if you jump from one old BMW to a new one, everything's still familiar. Yeah. You know, I'd never driven Makes this car noise, yeah. before this morning, and. Um, you know, straight away, you know where the park is, the, the little notch on the side of the gear stick to get you moving. It's really cool. That's one good thing about BMWs. Too much power. 
just yeah, just enough. With the Pro Pack. Pro Pack, yeah. Okay, and with that you get the 19 inch wheels. 19 inch wheels with the nicer wheels, the black trimmings. Yep. <laughs> and then yeah, so you get the dark tide windows in the back. And then you also get the N3 differential at the back. Uh, for that bit more sporty feel, better handling. And then also the adjustable suspension. Uh, I think that, does that come with the M support? <laughs> <laughs> it shifts. It feels like a 3 litre, it doesn't feel like a 2 litre. Mm, okay. It's impressive. Mm. It feels better than that, um, that 140 I we took out. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah. It's just, everything inside that one just felt a bit small. And what I asked you last night, and uh, <coughs> Michael gave me some some reasons, some of the things he likes about this car, and one of them was the fact that it's I think, so easy to drive, yeah, economical. And what were the other two reasons? Like I was saying, if you it can be sport if you want it to be, and then if you just want to do a you know, nice, easy, comfortable drive, and just you can just put it in comfort mode, and it feels like a normal, comfortable car. It's just nice that it can switch between those so easily. Um, so you've got best of both worlds, yeah. and then it handles very nice um, on the road. It just feels you feel so much more confident with it. And I do, I do like that it's rear-wheel drive. It makes that different, gives you that different feeling it does, on the road. Yeah. Okay, so we thought we'd show you the the standard BMW sound system. Now, it's quite rare to find a BMW that doesn't have the Harman Kardon system uh, added as an option, but Michael didn't go for it. He thought it sounds fine. And I have to say, this sounds better than my one, and I've got the Harman Kardon system in mine. So here we go. This is the bog standard BMW sound system in the 330i. Okay, so we just thought of something else. So um, Michael's got the laser beam headlights, which are awesome, but there is a slight problem, Michael, isn't there? Yeah, it's, um, I think it's the small, narrow, so windy roads that it, um, it doesn't switch off. It, it, it's got that feature where uh, it will keep the uh, main beam on, but if a car comes from the front, it will switch off the lights towards that car. So it's nice, so you don't have to switch the lights, but when it's on these small narrow windy roads at night it tends to do it maybe not quick enough or too slow so people tend to flash you because you obviously as they come around the corner you've got your brights on yeah uh, so i tend to switch them off myself every every now and then when i see there's a car coming i have used it on the highway on the motorway and then it sort of seems to work quite well ah so there we go so top tip if you're going to spec the laser lights they work fantastic on the motorway, but they're not so good on bendy country roads. I must admit, I had them on an old Mercedes, an old company car, and they were really good. But I agree, you're never really sure whether they're actually dipping in time for the oncoming traffic, and you do get quite a few flashes, which doesn't make you feel great. No, so, uh, no you don't want to be blinding people, no. No, but it's clever technology, probably going to get better. Um, but if you live in the middle of nowhere, then who cares, right? What is quite nice though on those roads is that it, um, it, it obviously changes as you go around corners. The, it also Harry read that it's on the GPS, it checks uh, it sees how the road is and it starts bending when you go around corners. Oh, yeah. So the lights move, it's quite interesting to see. It's actually quite nice to see when you're driving at night. So how the light changes across the road as you're driving. So it's quite therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> so. One thing we have discussed that we're not sure about is whether or not BMW pipe the sound into the cabin. Mm. I can't personally tell, but are you 
aware, Michael, of any fake noise? We don't I'm like not fake noise. Not too sure. It, if it is, it's done quite well. And it's done pretty well. So, only reason I don't think it might be is because if you go to the sports setting, it does become a bit louder. But I do know they do open the, the, ex, the other exhaust up when you do go into sport mode. So I don't know if it's that's the reason. Yeah. And then it obviously keeps the revs a bit higher. So, but it does tend to, the sound does come a bit, it comes through a bit more once you go into sport mode. So for that reason, I'm a bit skeptical. I think it might yeah. might be that it does actually yeah, pipe so through the sound, but it's done well. So maybe just in sport mode, it pumps it through, but it doesn't in any of the other modes. We're not sure. Can you remember how much it was to add the um, Harman Kardon? Uh, it was about 800 and something, 850, something around there. 850. Doesn't sound too bad, but if you're choosing the sound system between one of the other options, then you're probably going to leave out the sound system. Because it sounds perfect, doesn't it, the sound system? Yeah, yeah it, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, but Michael's a tall, tall bloke. He's uh, he's six foot eight. Six foot five. Six foot five. So, so if you're tall and you, you're thinking about what cars to buy, he's six foot five and he's had no problems in this car. Um, yeah, very happy. It's very comfortable. Well, it's actually quite nice because you can go down, quite low down, when other cars always feel quite high up. Yeah. With this, they've made it so you can go quite low. So I feel a lot better. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them underneath the video and I come back to everybody who does leave a, leave a question and uh, yeah we'll come back and answer them so thanks again for watching uh, another episode of The Drive um, thanks again Michael for lending us his beautiful BMW it's a pleasure and um, there'll be more videos coming your way very soon on this thing then I'm gonna have a look at the Hello everybody, so this is uh, a new video of the drive. This is Michael, this is his car, BMW 330i with the M Sport Pro Pack. How long have you had the car, Michael? Five months now. Five months, yeah. that's good. Five months. Let's see how it sounds then. Okay, the Mrs. Grevitt. This is test number one. Oh, so, intriguing. <clears throat> what are we testing? What are we testing? I don't know what are we testing the sound. <laughs> <laughs> We're testing the sound and to make sure we can get both of us in the video. Uh, does Michael realise he's going to have a starring role in the video? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> Test number two. Um, yeah, so this I'm in Michael's fantastic BMW 330i, which he bought last year. And um, today we're going to take you for a test drive. And this is Michael. Hello, I'm the proud owner. I'm Graham, and this is test number two. Okay, this is Media Mod test three. Uh, I'm in this beautiful BMW 125D. My amazing wife, Paula, say something. Um, so, is it going to be stir fry or burger tonight? Difficult choice. Um, I'm heading for stir fry. Personally. Okay, might be stir fry tonight then. <laughs>